So every day after the mowers go out, if they even cut one blade of grass, everything has to get checked. Bring the mower in, cut paper just to make sure that the contact points between the blade and the bed knife are making perfect contact. Then after that, we check the heights to make sure all the heights stayed the same. Just check over any moving parts to make sure there's no wear or anything like that. Being that this is the US Open, there is a lot more equipment than we've ever had. Uh, 18 fairway units, 15 triflex units, 22 greens mowers, 10 T mowers, 11 collar mowers. So there's a lot going on all at once here and everything has to get checked every day. The other day we brought all the mowers in after a full mow and only three reels out of 135 reels got adjusted. That's pretty amazing that that many reels can hit the ground and cut grass and only three have to be adjusted. With all these new machines, everything's really hardened steels. Um, like the older units used to be just regular steel blades. These new blades, they could take a lot more punishment and they actually hold their sharpen better. So we're cutting crazy numbers right now. If, if you take that, we set the bench height at these things at 400,000, we're actually cutting at 300,000. It's because of the action of the bed knife to blade. That's pretty amazing. We're taking 100 extra thousands just off of the cut. Well, the triplexes have all like the really tight areas, um, all the T surrounds right behind the greens, the runoffs. So they're doing a lot of back and forth, back and forth, trying to not cause any damage to the turf. You have to do it with accuracy. You can't be off by two or three thousands. Unbelievably, two or three thousands could cause a ball not to roll correctly across the green. Well, they have the uh, groove rollers on the front. It's called a Wadi roller. It kind of penetrates the ground a little bit, but if you had a flat roller, any, any surface on the ground, it would just roll over and then it would be reflected in the actual cut itself. So the Wadi roller keeps that from happening. Right now, I got a bunch of people from Toro themselves here. I got all my local mechanics from other golf courses, local area mechanics. And like I said, everyone's been great. I mean, you see how many volunteers we got. It, it didn't take much to ask for those guys to come here, you know, and everyone's here doing their job. It's pretty great. To be able to just call on these people and they'll come in and help you at the drop of a hat, you know, that's pretty amazing.